Uh, but let's get right into that. We got Bears, Tampa Bay, in Chicago. Uh, we have Tom Brady, Rob Gronkowski uh, coming to Soldier Field. I know there's been a few key wide receivers. I think Mike Evans has sat out a few days of practice this week, uh, which is – um, we'll see how that goes. Godwin's been banged up all year, too. Yep. Uh, we'll see how that goes. That, that just may be uh, that they, they just don't want him practicing during the week. Um, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous. This is a big game for them. They are 3-1 and one right now. The difference between 3-2 and two and 4-1 and one is honestly insane. Because if they go to 3-2, and two, I, I, it, I don't know. I know that sounds stupid, but if – if they go to three and two and they struggle again like they did and there's just nothing there, then I don't know what you do. But if you get to four and one and you play well against the uh, four and one and that's Tampa a Bay, big win if you get yeah, there. Yeah, you, you play well against it's Tampa Bay, win. beat Brady for the first time. That is going to be uh, a different story. But if they play like they did last well, week, they are not going to win that this game because the reason is Tampa Bay. Down, what, two touchdowns last week? Kind of easily kind of came back. They got Tom Brady, the whatever. The Bears have – they can't have a lead. They love being behind even when they win. They like being – they like pretty much losing the whole game other than the fourth quarter. I, I just don't know what to think about this game. I, I'm with you. I mean, ultimately you got to look at what it's going to take for the Bears to – Go out and actually win the game. They contain. Can't turn the, the ball. Pass, you cannot the pass. turn the ball over for one. You, right. You're can't, going to you have to slow do, down. Turn the ball over. The, 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 hopefully, you don't get Tom Brady that you saw in the second half last week uh, against the Chargers because he was absolutely electric. I'm starting to uh, in the second be half. more annoyed with the coach than the quarterback. Some of these play calls, I it's not consistent. It's not consistent. We run the ball. Four or five times in the first possession, maybe three or four times in the next, and then it's just pass, 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 pass. It's like like you're trying to sprinkle in the run because that you know that people want that, and then you're just like, oh well, now I'm going to do it my way here. It, it, I am yeah. I'm, at it, this point, I I almost have no trust in the play calling. No, I it, it's been it's been shaky at best. And, you know, when you look at you look at the inconsistency from one week to another and just with how Foles looked, um, the element that they said that was going to be there, these deep balls, the, the back shoulder plays, none of them were there. And it's no. not like, uh, you know. Yeah, we heard all, like we he, heard all he doesn't week have was, man, we finally got this quarterback that can that throw these passes. We've been waiting all this time, whatever. Kind of just throwing Mitch Trubisky under the bus. And then the next week, he goes out there and he doesn't do any of that. None. I don't think yeah, I saw I one mean, back shoulder pass or any. I, I don't know. I think that was well. That was pretty. The other problem too stupid of them to the say too, too like, is the Bears' offensive line. The Bears' offensive line hasn't been good no, in the last two weeks. But, like they started in the first two weeks, they were okay. This is the last two weeks, they have not been very good. And they got and Dominican Sue is like playing like a revitalized player all of a sudden. Shoot. Like he's. You know, he's, he's played like a stud Loves so far this year for Tampa. I don't know. And he always kills the Bears. So it's uh, it's not going to be easy to pull off a win by any means. That's why, they're, that's why they're an underdog at home. But, you know, if you can get the fools that you saw in the second half against the dog shit Atlanta Falcons, fine. They can play with them, no, no doubt. But they got to take the edge off the defense. They can't have all these three and outs where it's just like pass, pass, run, or pass, run, pass, and you're three and out, and it's like you took off you know, 49 seconds off the game clock, you know. So it's like you get no possession. You don't give your defense a rest. You don't let them get off the field. And you just can't really score much either when you do have the ball. Yeah. So it's, they're not they're not getting the big plays defensively that they got in 2018. Well, they score and, and this is a good points or something like that, like with the, a late touchdown, that meant nothing. They pretty much had three points when it mattered. Like you can't do that. You right. can't it, do that. It's a – it's a good defense talent wise, and like they played well this year, but they're not getting those big play. Yeah, the defense was not they the seemed problem to rack on up. Sunday. No, I would not say it was a problem, but you can't keep them on the field the whole game either. No, so, it, the it, offense has got to be. It, we need 
we need extended as good as drives. David Montgomery is, as good as David Montgomery's looked in stretches, he's looked like dog shit last week, and you know never got really never could get going. And you just need to get more. And I know the Colts, the the Colts are, I think, are actually have a very good defense. Yeah, that defense like was they, very they good. They picked up a couple I, I players in the offseason. That is no slouch defense by any stretch of the imagination. But you know, we got the offensive guru coach. We got his, he's got his quarterback now. He's got playmakers in the uh, you know and, and do and Miller and, and Robinson something. outside. Let's go. Let's see it. If you're not gonna see it, like it's. They're not contenders, really. You know, no, this is the year. Not, if you're gonna if you're right. gonna make a move to be a contender, like that's why I, that's why I do. say that the four and one and three and two is such a difference. That's a big difference. It's such a big it's difference. A difference. It's difference. crazy least, because I mean get us to the playoffs. That's as, as much as anything, that's gotta be the that's gotta be the goal. That's gotta be the goal this season. Let's get to the playoffs. Yeah, because if you don't get to the playoffs and Nick Foles is not what we want him to be. Where are we going from here? We gotta look for another right. another quarterback in the draft at some point. Because even well, after, yeah, I mean, I think that regard. I think regardless, you have to look for a quarterback in the draft this year. Let's say no the doubt. Bears go three Nick and two. Foles is not your answer. Long. Let's see the Bears are three and two. They go to Carolina against a pretty good Teddy Bridgewater right now, playing well. Let's see here. Then they play the Rams in L.A. Then they play New Orleans at home. It's like this. You, you, then we play Tennessee. We, we got to – it can go badly quickly if they keep playing like they did. Yeah. And, it, and other than a few quarters this year, they, they coach- really haven't looked better than that all season. It was fourth quarters against Detroit and Atlanta, and then one good game and against it was the Giants. The, and it was the first first half against the yeah. Giants. Their offense didn't do shit. Only they scored in the second half. So it's like, yeah. So it's like I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of confidence that they're going to be able to hang with hang with the Buccaneers. But you know, crazier shits happen. I guess I don't we'll know. See, we will see what happens. Hopefully, the Bears get a big win tonight against yeah. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. With uh, Tom Brady, like I said, Rob Gronkowski, Mike Evans, a very good team. And Nadamikin Sue, a, a guy who loves sacking Bears quarterbacks. It happens quite frequently when he plays them. So we'll see how that goes. It would Hopefully we have a victory. We'll be probably Saturday, Sunday. We'll have the podcast out. Hopefully we'll be talking about the 4-1 and one Chicago Bears.